placement at Castle Hill Hospital in Hull is really good because the place itself is really nice. Everybody's really friendly and they're willing to help you learn. I've really enjoyed my placement at Castle Hill. I've been here for three years now altogether. It's a really friendly department and you feel very supported. You can ask the staff questions anytime. Everybody's always willing to help. Castle Hill itself is a nice little hospital site that is kind of like far enough out the city so that it feels like you're in the countryside but close enough to the city so that you can get in and enjoy whatever things you might like. When there are new students we'll tend to put them with a variety of audiologists and assistant audiologists because when you first arrive you'll mainly be observing so it's to get a feel of what we do. The placement gradually builds up as you go through the course so you just come for the update to begin with and then as you work through the course you do longer placements and get to put everything into practice. We've got a great variety of staff members within the department so there is always someone working with something interesting to see and we will try and allocate the students to the most interesting roles. We may put them in an ENT clinic for one session and as they become more skilled in that we'll try and transfer them to hearing aid work to see a bit of paediatric work. Being able to deal with patients I've really built my confidence up and it's great to be able to do something worthwhile and use your knowledge to help people to hear better. I think the obvious start of comparing a larger department with a smaller department is we can offer maybe more variety on a daily basis. We run a variety of anything from paediatric to adult clinics to balance clinics almost on a daily basis. Uh, whereas, you know, at smaller centres you may have to wait for a specific clinic or training option to arrive. I like teaching or training the student basically however they best learn because no two students are the same. You know, some, some are very, very good at the academic side of things but find it difficult to apply that theory to practice. Some are a lot more practical and they will only learn by, you know, jumping in. So really you, you kind of assess the particular student and then try and teach them the way that they would prefer to be taught. I like to get the students as hands-on as we can, hopefully to encourage them to use a bit of initiative, you know, not just follow orders. The student needs to apply different skills to different people and decide what they feel is right. What we tend to do is we try and allocate all students with a mentor as much as possible. That is especially more important in the third year, you know, when logbooks have to be signed off, competencies have to be achieved. We were given an award by the university as Mentorship Team of the Year, so, you know, obviously we do have some history of good practice in mentoring. So I think, you know, any student who comes and stays in Hull will find that they get a good all-round training. Hull itself is fairly easy to get to, all right? From sort of the Leeds, Manchester area, coming anywhere from Yorkshire, there's a train service directly into Hull City Centre. You've got a central hub with all of the bus routes all connected from there. It's really easy to get in by train and get by bus to wherever you want to go. The journey from Leeds to Hull is pretty okay. I mean, you get a train to Hull and that's like an hour, but we can stay overnight as well, so it's not really a problem. The accommodation for placement in Hull is on site actually, so if you're getting up in the morning, it's literally like two minutes away, so it's handy. Hull's a really good city. It's got good nightlife. There's lots of lively bars, and it's great for shopping. There's a nice big shopping centre, St Stephen Centre, so it's really good. And it's the city of culture, so there's lots of shows and events at the moment that you can see. So it's always something to do. Hull is an undiscovered gem. If you've never been to the city, which I haven't before I actually moved here and got a job, you've got the character from the old buildings, you've got the modern developments, the town itself is one of the friendliest cities that I've ever visited and I've been to a fair few. The city of Hull is really nice, as you know it's like the City of Culture 2017 and it's a nice place, there's loads to do like shopping, bars, cafes, it's nice, yeah. I would highly recommend a placement at Castle Hill Hospital for University of Leeds students. They've often requested to come back and see us 
you know, even if they've been a bit tentative, that they feel that the, the distance from Leeds is a, a little further from Hull than, say, to Bradford. I think the thing I've enjoyed most about being on placement is gaining confidence and being able to uh, see patients on my own and take charge of the appointment. And, and it's great when you get feedback at the end of an appointment, you know, the patients ask if they can see you again, then that's really rewarding and you know you've done a good job. We do look after our students, so you would be well looked after with us. Some must like it because over the years, what five or six students who trained in Hull have stayed on and become audiologists. I'm hoping to get a job in Yorkshire, ho ho ideally home, but hopefully somewhere, somewhere like that.